<clears throat> Hello there, I'm Shasayim Shutarek. Today we'll be solving one of the A level IT 9626 pass paper, KIT. This is May June 2019. Uh, all documents produced must be professional standard and contain your candidate details. Create a folder, this one. Make sure all these files are present in, uh, present in your uh, folder that has been given to you during the CI exam. Okay. Uh, now this is what we have to make, uh, light blue casing, you have, you have to go through it, but let me read down the question first. In a vector graphic application, which is in our case Illustrator, recreate the image of a medical monitor. The dimensions are for guidance and, and only should not be drawn. The measurements need to be approximate. Uh, let me just check, is it being recorded because software is giving problems with this. Okay. The dimensions of guidance only not add. Uh, <clears throat> not shown. The measurements need to be approximate, but proportions of the image must be preserved. Create the image as cropped object. Make sure that the panels and the casing, these two are transparent. Save the grouped object separately as casing, as metal insert, and as grid in a bitmap format that supports transparency, which means I will save it as a GIF. So let's first of all start making this. So uh, I have to make this by 7. 7 by a uh, 7 by okay if, if i talk about the uh, first i'll make is the outer one and the outer one needs to be is 10 by 11 okay so here we go file new i can work on idea for size paper so Okay, uh, 10 by 11. I'll make the width is 10. I'll make the height. No, not the rectangle, sorry. We need to select from here is rounded. So, 10, 11 in centimeters. I can make this as 1.2, for example. Here you go. And we'll make this as blue. Right? Here we go. Control plus. Uh, if you want to change the units, you can go come to preferences. You can come into units and here you go you can change into centimeter okay now what we need to do is we have to make is this one this one that you see is eight by seven eight is the width eight by seven so i'll click again and i'll make is eight by seven so width is eight and the height is seven there we go right and I'll place it here and now what I need to do is uh, the in, inner side this one if this is if this is 8 and uh, you can see if this is 7 if this is 7 then this is 0.5 and this is 0.5 which means I have to make this one which will be 7 by 6 right so I'll make another one um, width is 7 by 6 here we go and we have this. Now what we need to do is I need to actually take it out. I'll tell you how to do that. So what we can do is before I take this out, what I'll do is I'll just do Control C, Control V, make a copy of this, and I'll tell you how to make this transparent. Okay. So I'll place this here. I'll click on this. Okay. Object path divide. Once this is done, click on this, click on this, hit delete. Now, I'll do the same thing. I'll bring this here. I'll place it approximately in the very center. Click on this, object, paths, divide. Click on this, press delete. Now, I need to make this, you can see over here is I have to make this gradient. And with where I have diagonal and I have, this is white, white and I have a gray, uh, diagonal gradient being applied and black over here white over here how do I do that I will just click on this and I'll make it gradient I will go to window and window I will open up my gradients from here here we go I'll bring this to the center I'll click here I'll double click I'll make this white I'll double click on this the center one and I'll make this bit less dark now I'll click on my gradient on my gradient I'll start from one corner and I'll go to the other corner. Right, this is what I have. Right, I'll put this aside. I have this, I have this. I have to make the buttons. The buttons will be 1.5 by 1.5. 1 
So I'll click on this. I'll make this 1.5 by 1.5, right? And I'll make this like 0.4. There we go. I get this. I'll change this the color as green. Okay. Right. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll come into effect 3D extrude and listen carefully over here. I'll select from here is the front. And in front I'll make this three and three. Right? Three and three. And I'll press OK. I get this. All I'll do is control C, control V. Control V, Control V. So I have four. I'll place one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now let's place them properly. How? I'll tell you how. This is fine. Just make sure they have been aligned properly. Well, uh, very good. I did it quite fine. They're quite aligned perfectly fine I need to type on them is pause freeze print on off pause print freeze Right, make sure they are lying properly. Now, done with this, all I have to do is make is the grid. So the grid basically, as you can see, is uh, the grid is uh, no seven centimeter by six, six by seven. Seven is the width, seven by six. So here we go. I'll make is uh, seven by six. I can make this as like 0 0.8. It's bigger right and now the important thing over here will be uh, let me just talk about this if i control minus if i go to view rulers and if i enable my rulers the rulers will help me and i will tell you how i can bring this line over here let me say i'll bring it over here till 18. now place this here then i'll use a line from here and i'll make the line as white but I'll just go back, not like this. Click on line, I'll make it white, and then I'll draw a line. Press shift and press shift and draw a line. Right? Now, what I'm going to say is that I'll try to bring another line over here. Okay, so that I have one centimeter gap, as you can see. So this is what I have. Control C, Control V. So you can click on this, press Shift, click on the other one, Control C, Control V, and by by looking over here, I can tell. That this is again one. It was a bit over here. Control V. I don't think so. I need the last one. Right? I don't need this one. So I will simply select is this one, this one this one this one and this one okay uh, this one the last one so i'll do is control c control v press shift and rotate and again you need to make sure that if i am i 
I'll select this again and you know what no first what I'll do is I'll just make a line I'll bring it here I'll select the entire thing and I'll move it so that I, this edge is on the line now I'll move another line this is one centimeter as you can see right so I need to select these and I have to make sure that this is exactly over here so that it's one centimeter right uh, here you go you reduce this I just to increase this a bit.